Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am heading into Primark. I'm literally parked right outside the Manchester City Centre one. I have had insider info that there may be pumpkins in store. So, you know, I had to take the trip, had to see what is new in, if they've got any autumn bits. I'm predicting, I always love a good prediction, but I'm predicting that the fashion is gonna still be a bit summery, transitional, not the best, not most autumn vibes. Plus it is still warm, so I'm not really in the headspace to be buying cozy jumpers right this second, um, as much as I'd love to. However, I feel the homeware may have a few sneak peeks of what's to come for autumn. I'm wearing a dress from Next today because like I said, it is summery outside. I've got my Birkenstocks on, nice, flat and comfortable, and my Chloe little basket bag. My accessory in the car today is my brand new air up bottle. If you've not seen me talk about this on Instagram yet, this is their new steel bottle. And what is great about this steel bottle is that it keeps the um, cold drinks cold. Oh, I've just got some lip gloss on it, brilliant. <laughs> I use it every single day. So this new bottle, what I love about it in particular is that it's got this easy um, refill unscrew option here which just makes it really easy to fill up with water every single day if you don't know what air up is these bottles have pods that go on top which are scented which when you drink through the bottle it creates like a slipstream effect whereby the scented pod together with the tap water makes you feel like you're drinking flavored water so that's what the pod looks like on and you just lift it up to activate it drink Mm, this is the elderflower scented pod so yeah it just helps me drink so much more water especially if you're the sort of person that you know struggles to drink just plain old tap water it's a great way to get in your water intake without any kind of calories any you know harsh chemicals or anything like that it's just good old tap water but it feels like you're drinking flavoured water, it's amazing. I um, sometimes put a load of ice in there for more of a refresher, the lime little pod as well, a bit of a lime refresher type of drink. And then you can also do sparkling water with like the cola pods are quite nice. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to try them out. And without further ado, let's head in to Primark. It's very sunny outside and it's already very busy, so. I always forget that when it's school holidays, it's gonna be busier totally forget but anyway let's head on in let's see what they've got and let's go shopping so let's do this let's head on in this is the city center store in manchester just as a reminder i always grab a basket i really wish they did trolleys you know that's one thing that i feel like primark could benefit from so they did have some cozy knit wear come in some knit vests knit dresses knit cardigans so i do feel like they're kind of teasing autumn with the fashion but it was definitely a transitional period in stores with lots of summer bits still around as well and yeah again leather jacket see it's sneaky peaks for what's to come for autumn but not quite full-blown autumn they also had these beautiful tailored trousers i was very tempted to get these ones actually i love the kind of like wide leg fit this set was really cute as well and again with tights and boots could transition into autumn they even had a couple of coats which is winter so we're a bit ahead of the game there primark lots of neutral brown kind of tones beiges creams perfect for autumn again with that kind of plaid check pattern this cow pattern which i remember this print being really popular last year actually i haven't seen much of it this year but it is really nice and then they do have the primark edit range so this has a whole dedicated section in um the manchester so it's right by the parenthood section and it just has pieces with a slightly elevated price tag um, this, by the way, this dress I thought was lovely, despite the fact that it was maternity. Um, I definitely think you could get away with that regardless of whether or not you're pregnant. Some great basic hoodies and sweats and um, lots of like bomber jackets as well and kind of puffer coats, gilets. So yeah, lots of outerwear coming in, some nice rusty brown colours 
and again mustards chocolate brown so very kind of autumn style shades sage greens and then like i said previously definitely lots of summery bits still obviously they always have the denim section they did have quite a few reduced prices here so if you're a friends fan they do have the central perk cafe which i did actually stop in today um right beside it they had lots of sale items lots of summery bright bold colors lots of discounted tops i really loved these linen feel tops they've got quite a lot of things with this linen blend um it even states it on the tag linen blend material which is really nice i actually have these tops as well they had more colors since last time i have the beige and white and then i have the top version of this dress which is now reduced down to just seven pounds they still have quite a lot of bold patterns and prints for summer very kind of a Malfi coast feel and then i did have a little look downstairs in the menswear because i always find the menswear have some really nice sweats especially these kind of american new york los angeles downtown kind of logo sweats very athleisure i feel like the menswear is worth checking out they had some sale items as well some sale joggers at six pounds with the matching hoodies as well for just seven pounds a great value for for that one and then heading back on upstairs now to the top floor they have the ladies lingerie underwear and then the homeware section as well they obviously have all the skims dupes they have these which i feel like are lounge dupes and then they have all of the velvet plush leggings in much more um of a variety on colors they usually just are the black but they have them in chocolate as well obviously the cozy socks are back um lots of kind of like longer sleeved and long line pajamas as well cozy slippers the disney snoodies are back these were 19 pounds i absolutely lived in mine last year so i may even be tempted to get another one again this year um, but yeah, the Winnie the Pooh set I just thought was beautiful. And then of course my favorite, the Lion King. I really loved the color of this one as like a night shirt with the back of it. How cute is the back? It's just got a little baby Simba and Nala. I just loved that. I had a quick look over the shoe section. They had some cozy slippers, but flip-flop ones are quite nice for in this, this time of the year when it is still quite warm to be able to have your feet exposed. Um, but yeah, the kind of crossover white company dupe style ones with the memory foam base they had in. And then they had lots of boots ready for autumn and winter, starting from around about the 15 to 17 pounds mark. I feel like the majority were around that price, if not 20 pounds. They had some in like a khaki green. They obviously had lots of black. They do have lots of like cream as well, cream colored boots, which I think look can look lovely, but practicality wise, not the best. Couple of new pairs of heels that I'd spotted and liked the look of, and their heels all sort of are around about the 10 to 12 pound price. Then a quick look in the accessories department with some gloves, scarves, and hats, getting ready for autumn and winter. And then moving over to the kind of beauty home wellness section, and yeah, the homeware department especially. They definitely had autumn colors in. They had these beautiful wreaths at 12 pounds, some smaller ones from 10 pounds. I really love the colors of this, much more muted. They had this adorable pumpkin ramekin dish at five pounds, which I absolutely love the color of this one. They had some uh, napkins for in the kitchen. In fact, their kitchen section was really, really good, I thought. And they had some faux eucalyptus in this beautiful rust burnt orange kind of color gorgeous wooden stool i've seen this a few times and i absolutely love it i think that is beautiful and then over to the more generic homeware section they had this gorgeous photo frame at just six pounds it was huge as well so really really liked that and then moving around to the other section again speaking of wellness they have a full dedicated wellness wall here mostly stuff that i'd seen before and then this laundry bag was cute for seven dollars guess it's on how much that's actually going to be in pounds who knows i loved the look of this bath pillow how nice is this it was 10 pounds and i thought that would be so comfy for a nice pamper evening in the bath 
and then they had this arch design mat in cream 18 pounds they had some luxury cotton face cloths again that was kind of with the primark edit labels that they do i thought this bathroom accessories pack was great value for money they had loads of bamboo stuff this towel rail is a great dupe for a white company one and then they have some bathroom caddies as well which are lovely i really liked this and i was actually very tempted to get it i might go back actually for that one for tom's shower I realized he doesn't have one and then this range reminded me of Denby. Anyone else, if you're a Denby lover, um, their mugs and crockery and everything. Yeah, it was very Denby vibes, I thought, that range. They have lots of unscented kind of decorative pillar candles, which I love the rib design of these beige, green, and black ones. And then they also had this one with a kind of shiny finish. I almost thought... It felt like a fake candle, but it wasn't, it was real. And then they have lots of cozy throws in, some beautiful vases. Primark really are upping their game with the homeware section, even still to this day. I'm really, really impressed. Four pounds for that artwork, amazing. And then that knot doorstop is also a great white company dupe and then some decorative accessories as well. Again, loads more cozy throws in prep for autumn winter. We are such um, a lovers of throws in this household, especially having a dog. I just find it really useful to be able to throw them in the wash and just have them everywhere so that the dog is welcome on the sofa. Moving on to some sale finds with these vases. I thought that four pound one was great value for money. They do have lots of larger item furniture in the Manchester city center store. I was tempted for these marble side tables. The only problem is carrying them. They're so heavy and with it being a city centre store, you've got a long walk back to your car, wherever it may be. I just struggle to, you know, justify purchasing an item like that because I just think, how could I carry it to the car? I need a helping hand. I need to get take Tom in with me next time if I can manage to convince him. Loads of baskets in this Primark as well. I loved this can grass they call it cans grass baskets and then over to the kitchen section the kitchen stuff in primark is so impressive they have so many items that i love again quite a few sale items which i was quite surprised with i feel like lots of sale fashion bits but to have some sale homeware bits was a nice surprise too like for instance this at just three pounds even this full price was only three pound fifty i actually already own that i loved the color of this vase i thought it was beautiful they also have a really good cleaning section in this primark with lots of different tea towels microfiber cloths they have um, like bottle brushes, they have laundry detergents, crease releases, all different kind of sprays and products that are great in your cleaning cupboard. Again, more throws. And then ending off with a nice treat over at Central Park Cafe. They have such a big choice, but today I went for the salted caramel and banana waffles and they were just delicious. And there we have it. Successful little shopping trip, I would have to say i mean in terms of pumpkins whoever kindly messaged me to let me know that they had them i literally found one item that had a pumpkin on it so i definitely feel like people are shopping early this year i feel like people are just getting in there with the autumn stuff putting it to one side before actually putting it out my one little pumpkin purchase which i'll share with you within a primark haul coming next this will be my next video full dedicated Primark haul because I did probably get too much to include it within a vlog so I'll film that at some point this week because I like to do try on clips and everything I've not got time to do that today so I'm going to do that some point this week and then share that with you for my next video I've got my little central perk coffee the waffles I had a treat today we went on a really long dog walk this morning and we're gonna have a barbecue this evening so I thought well, I need something to keep me going so I had waffles and it was honestly delicious. So yeah, had a lovely time, a lovely little spending spree. Can't wait to share with you everything that I got. Again, just want to kindly thank Air Up for sponsoring today's video. Definitely recommend checking these guys out. I have absolutely loved using my Air Up bottle. I honestly, it's part of my daily routine now and I just drink so much more water. Still freezing cold this from, from earlier today and it's hot outside hence the hair up today 
slick back bun for me. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to Air Up for kindly working with me. I will leave that link in the description box. Thank you to them and thanks to you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my next upcoming video, the Primark haul, by subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and I will hope to see you all then. Bye guys.